Hi friends, I'm Morgan from HandmadePalisane.com. It's been a while since I made a video. We've uh, had a rough month and a half of flus and got bronchitis and a broken rib and a fractured vertebrae and some other trauma in our life. Anyway, I'm finally up and back out on the mountain with that hideous background. Turn that way. Up on the mountain, and I want to show you Shajarat al Qaikab and teach you a little bit about this amazing indigenous tree of Palestine. So one of the really cool features about this, her Latin name is Arbutus Andrachne, is that she has smooth bark, as you can see up here. Yeah, because it actually flakes off throughout the year. It colors and it turns, it comes off, and it's a very light pale green, and it darkens and darkens and darkens into this beautiful deep red. There's actually Palestinian folklore um, about. Uh, um, my kids are right here, so I don't want to say the story. There's actually Palestinian folklore about uh, the color of the tree related to blood. So um, eventually the bark actually peels off and then it starts over on this cycle. And it's called a strawberry tree in English, an Eastern or Greek strawberry tree, because the berry looks super similar in color to a strawberry. But take a bite, look at the inside. It's obviously quite different. It is delicious and we're going to be making traditional patli or jam from it soon. And you can see that the berries also go through this beautiful coloration. They start out green and then they get darker until they become this bright red and quite soft and edible. And the birds love them because they're so sweet and delicious. The one other thing I'd say about this tree is that it doesn't do well in, um, I don't know what you'd call it, captivity. <laughs> like planting it in your home because it has a, a natural um, a fungus that grows in the soil that it actually needs. Look how amazing this is. And the reason I'm up here showing you this tree is because it is has these berries that are significantly larger than other kaika berries I've seen here in Palestine. It's gorgeous and it's growing at an angle with lots of other, you know, biodiversity is really important. So it's really heartbreaking that we always cut all of the trees so that our olive trees grow because there are other trees that are wild in Palestine that we benefit from that we can eat, but also that benefit from each other. So you can see some Palestinian oak growing down here. Um, these are new kaikab or, uh, uh, yeah, okay, kaikab, eastern strawberry kaikab on Arbutus and Drachne uh, saplings. And this is kundil, which is just about to start getting its leaves back because we're in uh, mid-November. And it will bloom usually in January. February with gorgeous yellow flowers. So there's just a lot going on around a single tree. Um, and that's beautiful Palestinian biodiversity. And you can use this chalk as a fan. You can use- For wild boars. <laughs> cool. Anything else you want to share right now? Um, From our traditional knowledge that we have of Palestinian plants? Climb trees. Okay, not quite traditional knowledge, but awesome. My kids are little monkeys. <laughs>